Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to Government Private Job Alerts. So guys, today we are going to discuss about LG India. I think everyone is well known about LG India. So yes, definitely we are talking about LG Soft India. They are hiring refreshers. So definitely we are going to discuss about the eligibility criteria. What is the selection process and definitely the batches eligible are 20 and 21. So yes, salary, your salary that is CTC will be 4.8 LPA. That means this is a really good salary for the freshers definitely and uh, we will be discussing all those things how the selection process uh, and all those the steps and rounds so watch the video till the end and if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel and press bell icon so that there will be any notification so you will get it earlier so guys in addition to government private job alerts we have prepared a preparation strategy also like uh, initially we started with a global edge preparation strategy and after that we started TCS smart hiring preparation strategy that is for last seven to eight days and we got a good response from the students you can check from the comment section and we have some telegram groups also in the description i will give the link if you want to join any of the group so you can join so and uh, after that we have also started an infosys preparation strategy that is last five days preparation strategy and uh, we also got a good response from that also you can see that so guys let's move to our topic now lg india recruitment process so guys let's talk about all those things eligibility what are the eligibility what is the selection process and batch and all those things so guys we are on lg soft india website so you can see about lg india i think everyone is well known about lg india lg india started in 1996 headquartered in bangalore so you can read this this is just a basic thing after that talking about jd that is job description so your jd is LG Soft India is hiring for software engineer. Yeah, definitely. Software engineer ki hiring honi wali apki and for BE BTEC 2021 batch graduates. That means 20 and 21 graduates are eligible for this. Those who have done or completed or you can say pursuing BE or BTEC degree in in 20 or 21 so after that talking about the job title so definitely if the hiring is for software engineer so definitely your job title is software engineer the role is for c c plus plus java and python so you can see the roles c c plus plus java and python so talking about your job type so job type is your contract to hire ways means uh, like it is like you can take an example of like internship like if you will do internship in a company if you have done a good work on your performance basis so they will hire you permanently so this is same firstly you will be hired on a contract basis and after that if your performance is satisfied according to them so definitely you will be given a permanent job in the in the company so after that talking about your work location so definitely your work location is bangalore and relocation will be required after pandemic situation normalizes that means the relocation can be there so you must adapt to the relocation also and i think uh, in the form also they are asking that uh, are you willing to relocate so there is automatically yes option is there so you can check it there and after that talking about the ctc that i told in our thumbnail in the pre in the initial video so the ctc will be 4.8 lpa and guys trust me this is really a good package for a fresher so after that talking about uh, eligibility criteria so professional graduates from be btec as i told you computer science that is cs information science that is is information technology this is it or is after that electric electricals and there is one electronics and communication you can see on the screen electronics and communication and the batches will be 20 and 21 pass outs so that means you must be 20 or 21 pass out after that talking about uh, your uh, other things excellent communication you must have excellent communication of oral as well as written after that the minimum academic score will be 10th and 12th 60 percent that means you must have 60 percent or above in your 10th class and your 12th class after that talking about your minimum score in graduation so definitely that is also 60 percent and most of the companies are requiring 60 percent for their hiring after that students with active backlog are not eligible see guys this is really important thing and they have highlighted with different color students with active backlog or are not eligible to participate in the placement process after that talking about your essential skills so candidates should be well versed in one of the language to apply for this role yeah definitely because they are hiring if they are in like uh, try to understand one thing if they are hiring for software engineer and they are saying your job role is c c plus plus java or python so definitely you must be well known about one of the language any one of the language like c or c plus plus or java or python so after that talking about fair understanding of os os your app operating system and uh, example is linux means you must be fair understand you must have a fair understanding of 
operating system after that talking about your uh, good communication skills yeah as i told you previously and after that your selection process so talking about your selection process so online test will be there so first stage is your online test and test will be shared to the registered email ids through support at the rate my anatomy so this is the mail id by which you will be getting your test details like your test credentials login password anything everything so after that talking about your uh, technical interview so your technical interview means the technical interview will, will take place after your online aptitude test is cleared so that means shortlisted candidates are going to give the technical interview and that will be a skype interview not a zoom interview so after that talking about your hr interview so hr interview is also by the skype interview so your hr interview that is skype interview so definitely they are um, asking about the skype so you have to install that if you are not having so after that talking about your important guidelines so you can watch there guys there are a lot of students who are continuously asking that sir i have filled a xyz form and i have not got anything but many students got the mail and the testing so guys the companies these private companies what they are doing they check the eligibility criteria on every step means if they send a round one mail so after that if you have cleared or whatever after the second round also they are going to check your eligibility criteria and if you are not uh, suitable for their job so definitely they are not going to send you in the second round mail so you must be aware of this so let's talk about first this so online test will be sent to the registered candidates who meet the eligibility criteria means the candidates who are eligible like anyone can apply means uh, i'll show you the form so from there anyone can apply but the eligible candidates means they will check their eligibility check so according to them only the registered candidates who meet the eligibility criteria are going to give the test means they will be having the mail via their support at the rate my anatomy so after that talking about shortlisted candidates from the test should be available for further interview process that means those who are shortlisted so this is a basic thing if anyone has shortlisted so definitely he will be ready for next interview process after that talking about candidates should be available for immediate joining so yeah this is this is a good point really means if you have been selected so you must be available for immediate joining you cannot say that sir next month i'll join or in xyz months i will join so this will not be entertained so after that talking about your how to register so definitely as i told you we will be talking about selection process so we talked about and eligibility also so now we are talking about how to apply so guys you can see on the screen so how to apply you can see register below so from there you have to write the full so after that you can see you have to write your full name contact number current location and your institution or college whatever university after that you can see your graduation here and your streams are computer science so this is i think by default so yes this is by default so is it ec and electrical are already there and if you talk about graduation year so this is 20 21 and others also if you wanted so let me con continue this also if you want to apply if you wish to apply you can apply in others i do not know that uh, they will be sending the mails or not because in the notification that is official notification they have given that 20 and 21 are eligible so that means if there's other so you can apply if you wanted to on your own risk so after that talking about uh, like let me check this graduation degree also if there is something else so this is there is also other so i think uh, they are not going to get the mail so from there after that you can see please convert your graduation cgp to percentage that means you have to convert your cgp to percentage whatever your college or university has provided you the conversion formula after that talking about uh, conversion of your 12 cgpa to percentage if you got a percentage that is good and if you have got the cgpa then you must know the conversion formula of c conversion of of c 12 to your percentage so after that talking about your 10 so similarly you have to do that so you can ask your college or sorry not your college you can ask your school that what is the conversion formula of my of my cgpa to percentage so guys you can see which profile you are interested in so there is c so let me check yeah there is c and c plus plus java and python so you can add any after that are you trained or certified in c c plus plus java python if yes please mention the details yeah if uh, you will write there yes so definitely you have to mention some of the details so after that talking about do you have an internship experience so if you have so if yes they there they mention if you have, have then please mention the details means if you have done any of the internship or you have any of the experience like zero to one is required so definitely you have to give them so this will be a plus point for you guys after that do you have any backlog so active backlog are not allowed so if you will choose no so definitely you are not going to get the exam link after that immediate to joining means select immediate joining if selected so you have to choose yes do not choose no otherwise there will be some of the errors so after that talking about are you willing to relocate to bangalore if selected so definitely you have to choose yes and after that man, means when you will fill all the details so this submit option will enable and you can submit from there so guys this is all about lg soft india so we talked about each and everything as i told you in the 
initial video so this is all for today so i hope you all are good and uh, doing good and uh, some of the students from oe got the results also let me discuss this also so means some of the students got the oe so oe results so i wish them all the best and just prepare for your interview which just basic things like your resume and all those things so guys chaliye milte hain fir next video mein aur tab tak ke liye apna dhyan rakhiye jai hind